All right, what is going on guys? Welcome back to Be The Fish. It is day one Bassmaster kayak event here on the Susquehanna River. We just got to our launch. We got about an hour till we we're able to put in, so I'm kind of just chilling because it takes me all of like maybe 10 minutes to put this out back together and that's really stretching it. Uh, loving the simplicity of the rig this week. And so basically, we're just chilling out here for a little bit till it's time to put in because it's 5.30 launch but it's also 5 30 lines in so as soon as you launch you can start fishing uh, so i'm in no rush and uh we're basically gonna go try a little bit of top water for a little while uh, out in some of these eddies and then we're gonna go back basically back into some of these islands here once the sun gets up a little bit and uh we're gonna run a, a pattern and hopefully it upholds with some of this little backwater stuff we got uh mostly just top water stuff we got buzz bait choppo and then we have some subtle stuff like a chatterbait and a wacky. Some other things here and there that we got in the back pocket just in case we need to uh, re-rig and adjust, but man, we're just gonna go have fun. This place is freaking cool. It's awesome. If you haven't seen the practice video, go check it out, the uh, video previous to this one. It was a heck of a lot of fun. And so we're, uh, we're gonna go see what happens. It's, it's hard to be competitive with this place because it's just so gorgeous. Fish everywhere. It's a great time. But either way, we're just going to go catch what we can catch and see what happens. We'll see you guys at Lions Inn. thing going. Let's get this party started. Are you kidding me? Well, I should have known when it started flailing its arm. Well, when it's doing the gator roll crap that they do. But, and almost tipped over on a rock. So that was good. It gets stuck, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, that's hilarious. I'm just glad it didn't take over. I'm just gonna cut me off. There. Don't plan on going that way, anyways. That was cool though, it sharked it. I thought it was a freaking big one. Probably should check my hooks to make sure that catfish didn't bend these suckers out. Come here. Come here. Where's my net? That's a good one. Okay. Okay. Hell yeah. Uh, that's a good way to start it. That was much better than I realized. <laughs> Did not think that fish was that big. Barely freaking hooked, dude. Barely. Holy smokes. Alright, chill, homie. Chill, please. 
18 and a half, guys. Thank you, buddy. There you go. Horrible, horrible landing job. That was bad. I need to clean that up quick. It's all good. It's a good start. I will take that. Seventeen and a quarter. Thank you, bud. Freaking choke that buzz bait. drag was so loose but that was freaking sick okay 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 i hear you loud and clear bud that's a dang good that is a dang good stuck him perfect now to not screw this part up that is awesome heck yes 19 Heck yeah. Thank you, mama. Heck yes, dude. She's out to the river. That's fish number four. Just literally throwing, I threw a Texas rig back in there. Somehow my drag was loose. That's weird. Thankfully, I didn't lose her. Probably should have checked that. That's freaking 20 pound 4 -oh. Just tried to jam her. Hey right, guys, so we got four fish so far. Uh, I don't even know what time it is. I didn't even check. It's just like, look at this mountain, the smoky, you know, the, cause the fog, uh, and you got freaking bald eagles screaming. Like it's, this is freaking America, baby. Like this is just awesome. We're already having a great morning. We're catching fish. We're catching good fish. We've had a couple blow ups. We got a 19 and 18 a 17. And uh, I think it was a, I think it was a 15. So not a bad start to the day at all. We'll take that for now. I mean, we have a lot of day left. I hope that the pattern we're running holds true and we keep making smart decisions. I think the only smart decision that there is to be made 
is just go freaking fishing and stay positive. That's really it. This is so much freaking fun, guys. I could fish like this. I mean, of course, you guys know me, and I've said it so many times that I can, I could catch fish anyway, and I won't, won't matter. But there's something to this that is just uh, like this, and going up to the Adirondacks with you know the bare minimum is just so like primal, back to the roots type deal. Don't get me wrong, I love getting out on you know Erie and Ontario, and you know some of our Finger Lakes and using electronics. But gosh, this is just so dang fun. I'm gonna try to do a better job of my tournament videos talking to you guys, especially ones like this where it's, although hopefully you guys are enjoying some of the, the topwater action. I don't know how the heck I catch a freaking catfish this morning on topwater, but that was interesting. If you are enjoying chasing hardware though this year and so far in this video, drop a like, please. Let me, comment down below what you guys wanna see more in the tournament videos, because that can give me a, a better idea of how to film them, because I, I just enjoy the straight up filming aspect of it. I wish I could, you know, be better about filming some of the small things that happen off the water and things like that. I just get so caught up in the moment that I forget. Maybe one of these days I'll pay somebody to film some of the behind the scenes stuff, but for now you guys are, are getting what I can manage. But if there's something you guys wanna see more in the tournament videos, just let me know. I'm all ears. Anyways, I can make chasing hardware better. I am all game for that. Let's see if we can't get fish number five. I literally just kicked up like another freaking 19 or 20 incher. He apparently did not want the buzz bait because I went over top of him like 17 times. Maybe the chop one <laughs> needs to wake him up. That sucks. He's like right here, right in front of this island. That was a freaking good one. It is what it is. We'll come around the other side and see if we can't give that fish some time. It's good to know that it was over here. At least means they're holding true to what we were looking at. Still looking for number five. Well, there's number five. We can get it on the board. This thing completely just dodged my net. <laughs> it was actually quite impressive, if I'm not being honest, or if I'm being honest. That was awesome. That was like a last ditch, you know, lazy cast before we were trying to go under this overhang. That worked out. 17 and three quarters, guys. Thank you, mama. Right. Hooks are still sharp. Oh, that's awesome. Now we gotta get rid of a 15. We got 19, 18, 17, 17. We gotta get a, gotta get a 15 now. That fish freaking train wrecked it. That was pretty sick. <laughs> it almost scared the crap out of me, honestly. <laughs> that was one of those lucky bonus fish. But it was five. Right. Let's keep going. Churn and burn, baby. Churn and burn. All right, I got 87 and a quarter with that 15 incher. Gotta keep going. Another big one, and we got a good bag. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. 
Having fun. Having fun. Another one try to eat it. Oh my god, dude. I think this went nuts on it, dude. Three bolt back here. God dang it, dude. Come on. You gotta be joking. Oh my god, dude, that's a freaking big one. Oh, dude, that's a freaking big one. Well, that crossed a uh, another species off the list for today. That was a little musky that I had on there. Had it to go to a different chopo. Was on my last black one, and I broke it hitting that freaking log. I'm trying to squeeze it in somewhere did not work the way it was intended. Come on, you little sucker! We're just looking for one more big one. Man, come on, dude. This is textbook. It'll call it 15. It's not spectacular, but it was enough to make me get nervous, that's for sure. 17 and three quarters. Thank you, girl. I appreciate it. All right. That should give us 90. Submit. 1775. Leaderboard. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got now. Now that we got to get back all the way up there. We have 90 on the dot. Let's see where we stand with 90. We're in 13th. Only two inches out. So we can get another big one, we'll be doing good. Let's keep it going. All right. Let's keep our going, eh?
picture. He's flying! Nice one. It's not gonna help. Didn't even have to move for uh, to catch the next fish. Say so this is a good island. Made a good call coming here. Chopo 120. We got 92 inches now, so that'll move us up a little bit. Let's get a quick time check. It is 9.50. So we still have, still basically have like three and a half hours. It's not bad at all. Let's get over here and cast into this little eddy as well. And we're making a run up to a different section here. Yeah, about two hours left. We're just looking for one more big one. Get rid of another one of our 17s. I think we're in the top 20 still. I don't know. I know we got 92 on the dot. Last I had looked, I was at, when I was at 90, about like two hours ago, whatever, I was in 13th. It's hard not to get distracted at all the different things you can throw out here. I'm trying to get up to those islands over there. That's what I need to get to. I need to get up there. Where am I going up through? No! Oh, that was a big one, dude. Gosh, dang it. Another 19, guys. Heck yeah. Super skinny. Thank you, Mama. All right, so another 19 that puts us at 93 and a quarter. We got to get rid of another 17. If we can get rid of that one. We'll be sitting pretty. That one we lost over there definitely would have. I saw a glimpse of it. It was it was over 18. I don't think it was you know like a 20 or anything, but it would have been helpful. It's all good though. It is what it is. I had some good luck today, so I can't complain too much.
dude. That might help. It's got to be 17.75. Got to get him back in the water though. Oh, it's just literally the same length. I'll take a picture just in case. Thank you, bud. Appreciate it. I don't know if I got that to go. That was such a sick eat. That was so sick. Let me set my alarm quick for 1.30 so I don't forget. Yeah, a little bit over an hour. Basically, we're just <laughs> literally just running shade lines. And they're on wood. Get back at her, hey bud. No, 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 yes. What the frick is going on here? I don't even know if that helps. That was freaking sick though. What the frick is going on? I am so discombobulated here. Okay, I get it, dude. I'm trying. I'm hung up here too. Oh, yeah. Sweet. 1875. Thank you, buddy. All right, so we have 94 and a quarter. We got to get rid of an 18 and a half. Let's see where we're sitting right now in fifth. All right, keep going. That was an epic eat, though. <laughs> that was freaking baller. There was a freaking megalodon trying to take this from it. It was trying to steal it from its mouth. Where the heck did it go? Can't be that far. God, dude, it would try to eat it out of its mouth. I almost caught them both. I literally almost caught them both. Oh my God, dude. That is insane. The fish was like maybe 16 or so. That's nuts, dude. That was like a 21 inch fish. I think it was long as hell. <laughs> dude, that's so sick. I lost them, didn't realize. Popped it. And I barely got them again. Let's mark this spot so we can come back tomorrow. Heck yes. It's good to know I've seen a couple fish in this one stretch. And they're dirt shallow. And they are throttling this thing. I tried to play out that smaller fish a little bit longer just so I can try to see if that big one would hook itself. I was like, please come here. <laughs> you guys have a good day. Thank you. Yeah, there's a rudder in the back that like left and right. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> 
You guys are good luck. <laughs> yeah, the fins kind of work like penguin. You know how penguins have their arms and they side to side? Oh, yeah. yeah, they're fins, so they kick up. But they're angry on this river, as you can tell. That's pretty fucking decent for this, uh, this river. Or you not bigger than that. 24 angler kayak tournament right now. You didn't even like take a picture or nothing. No, no. <laughs> I think we have like 45 minutes left in the tournament, so I'm trying to pedal to the say, middle. How do you say what you, or you just find the biggest one and bring it back? Uh, so it's uh, your biggest five fish of the day. You just put it on this measuring board and you take a picture. There's like a whole criteria for it to keep uh, it like fair. You're not gonna keep it unless it's no. bigger than No, I never usually keep bass. I usually like walleye and perch much better. But. All right, well, I guess good luck. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> better luck, I guess. <laughs> Can't complain with this, man. It's gorgeous out here. Mm. Hope a good payday is coming your way. I, I hope so too. Thank you, guys. See ya. Alrighty, this is it. Get out of here first. Alrighty. Whew. It's hot. 130, you've had like 94 something inches. Uh, I'm not gonna check the standings just yet uh, because you have until 2.30 to enter them. So at 2.30, I'll give you guys an update. But right now we are going to drift back down to our spot. We started out hot, hot this morning with an 18 incher. Um, kind of just fishing boulder stuff, that low light, just throwing top water. I think everything came on top water. Oh, no, I did have that one flipping fish. Um, so that was cool. But today was so much freaking fun. We ended up getting on a, a different pattern later uh, in the afternoon, running shade lines. And every time there was timber or some sort of eddy, something that these fish could sit in, um, there was usually fish there. <laughs> it was. We left some on the table, which kind of sucks too, but I'm sure everybody's in the same boat because we're talking smallmouth on a river system like this on the Susky. So it sucks we left some on the table, but we also left a lot there that blew up on it. And there's other places we haven't even touched in here. So we might just run it back completely tomorrow. If anything, we might just leave a little bit earlier. Either way, today was super freaking fun. We'll check back in later and uh, give you guys an update on where we're standing at the end of today because tomorrow is day two. So we are going to make our way off the water here. Probably going to go and get some more tackle because I need some more chapos.
All right, guys, I don't know if you can see me at all, but uh, we got wrapped up with day one. Uh, I went back to the house, got everything all in order, had some dinner, uh, ended up relaxing for a little while and uh, forgot to do my outro. But day one wrapped up in seventh place out of 224 anglers. I'm on the chop almost today. You guys saw that shade line pattern we got in on late today. As that sun gets up, those shade lines get tighter and tighter, pushes those fish towards the bank. And the more structure that's on the bank, cover wise, the more those fish will relate to. So we started ran, running that on the shade lines, every lay down, things like that. And we started running to a bunch of fish. So it was a great day. If you enjoyed it, we got day two coming up. We're not out of this thing. We're in seventh of 224. So look forward, day two is coming up here soon. But if you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe. We'll see y'all on the next one.